Okay, this is the first extra credit problem for the test number two. Okay, find the shortest distance between the circle. I yeah, give the circle the equation of the circle both in general form. I need to determine the radio and center. Now I'm using complete square idea. So that's the first one. X squared minus 2x plus box plus y squared minus ay plus box is equal minus 13 plus box plus box mm -hmm. the number in the first is 1 because 2 divided by 2 is 1 squared is 1 and the number in the second is 8 divided by 2 is 4 there is 16 this is 16 square is 16 so 16 here and 1 the factorization this is x minus 1 square and the factorization of this is y minus 4 square equal we have uh, 4 here no because negative 13 plus 16 is 3 plus 1 is 4 okay the conclusion is center we're located at the point 1 comma 4 and the radius is 2 because it's a square root 4 This is for the first circle. For the second, we have x squared minus ax plus box plus y squared minus 2y plus box is equal minus 13 plus box box. Okay, again, this is 16 here, and this is 1. 16 and 1. The factorization of this is x minus 4. The factorization of this is y minus 1. In the right-hand side, we have the same number as 4. Conclusion of the center is 4, 1 and the radio is 2 again. Good. Okay, this is approximately a roughly scale, a sketch for the, the circle. The center is located at the point uh, 1,4 and now it's located at the point 4,1 and the radio is approximately 2. So say, what is the idea? I need to find this distance. So, this distance. You are doing the segment line, okay, connect the both center. Mm -hmm. They want to find the shortest distance, and this is the shortest distance. Okay, that's it. What is the strategy for finding the shortest distance? You find the distance between the center one and certain center two using the distance formula, and this you subtracting subtracting this radio radio 1 and radio 2 okay, by the way are the same as 2 so subtracting 4 and that's it this is the shorter distance this is the distance okay, I'm looking for between this point and this point let me call P1 P2 this is P2 this is P1 distance P1 P2 now it's pretty easy because the distance between the center is a square root square root mm -hmm. uh, 1 minus 4 square plus uh, 4 minus 1 square this is a square root uh, this is 3, this is 9, plus 9, this is 18, 
the square root 18 is 3 radical 2. So basically, the final answer is at the distance p1, p2 is this distance 3 radical 2 minus 4. And this is approximately uh, approximately 0 0.24. Uh, 26.41 in the calculator ok, find the domain of this function we have to radical and the restriction is obviously set out the restriction is x squared plus 6x minus 5 plus b greater than or equal to 0 and uh, minus x squared plus 15x minus 50 greater than or equal to 0. Now let's solve this inequality separately and connect it by hand. Okay. Uh, in this case, I want to multiply the whole thing by negative 1. This is x squared minus 6x plus 5 less than or equal to 0. Multiply by negative 1. Uh -huh. Let's convert to equation. To find the critical value is a polynomial inequality. So with this by factory is five and one. Negative both. Now the critical value are five and one. And it's obvious. It's obvious. Doing the partition. This is 1 and 5. And the critical value are maybe the testing point 0, 0, 1 in the middle here, 2 and 6. Okay, now let's do the chart. The chart is TP 0, 2. And six, and the factor is x minus five, x minus one, and total. Okay, zero is minus here, zero is minus here, and minus times minus plus. Uh, two is minus, two is plus, is minus, six is plus, is plus, is plus. And the true part is when well, it's less than. And the less than is here. This is the true part. This is the true part. And the interval you correspond is the interval when it is here is 2. So now we include both endpoints. Yes. The interval and the solution of this part is interval 1 is. Bracket 1, comma 5. It's the interval 1. Let's open the other inequality. Again, multiply by negative 1, x squared minus 15. x plus 15. Less than or equal to 0. Now, factorization. The factorization is the factor is x, is x is 10 and 5. Negative, negative. Uh -huh. Now, um, convert to equation, and the solution for the equation is 10 and 5. This is the critical value. Let's find the partition for this critical value. 5 and 10. 5 and 10. And the testing R, the testing R in this case, for example, for, for example, 8, and for example, 12. Okay, so let's do in the chart DB, 4, 8, and 12. The factor is 6 minus 10 x 
minus i a total this is minus this is minus this is plus this is minus this is plus this is minus and this is plus plus and plus so we have got the true bar is when this minus is here okay because so now our interval of solution is this include both include phi include time uh -huh. now the interval solution is interval solution is bracket phi comma t interval number two now let's do in the intersection between of interval okay let's do in the intersection between both interval the first interval is from one to phi one to phi include both include one and include phi the second is phi to ten include phi and include ten and the intersection is the common element the only common element I saw is this, is phi. Okay, this is the intersection is only one point. Unbelievable. This domain is no interval, it's only one point, is phi. Mm -hmm. The only value that satisfies this condition, okay, that is known defined, is phi. And let's evaluate phi here to see what is the range. Evaluate f and phi is radical minus 25 plus 6 times phi minus phi plus radical negative 25 plus 15 times phi minus 50. Uh -huh. Okay, look, this is 30. 6 times 5 30 and 25 and negative 25 negative 30 this, this is 0 let's go to 0 let's see plus something uh -huh. this is 15 times 5 gets 75 positive and 25 negative and negative 50 is negative 75 is 0 again the answer is 0 this is the range there's only one value, of course. Okay, zero. And this is the answer. This is a very, very weird function.